Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Five Math Questions with Mr. Tay. Think where in this video, uh, I will try to do five math questions from um, last year's prelim papers. Okay, and hopefully I can I, I I get them right. If not, it'll be yeah, a bit weird. So uh, today we'll be doing the five questions from Pei Chun. Yeah, it's Pei Chun Primary. Without further ado, let's try to do the paper. So let's look at the first question. Question number one. So two rectangular tanks are shown below, uh, as you can see over there. So the first tank it was empty, and one quarter of tank B was filled with water. So this is empty. And the other one is filled with water to one quarter. So both taps were turned on at the same time, and water from both taps flowed at the same rate of 1.5 liters per minute. So how long did it take for the height of water to be the same in both tanks? Okay, so we want the height to be the same now, uh, but we also have let's highlight some stuff. Huh? Water is flowing at 1.5 liters per minute. So we want them to have the same height, so first we must find the base area. So how do we find the base area? Uh, let's find the base area for the tank A. So for tank A, it's 30 and uh, 25. 30 times 25, 750. So let's write down 750 cm square. So I'm just trying to find the base area. Now next one is 50 times times 25. This is one two five zero cm square. Okay, so why do I want to find the 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 volume? Uh, why do I want the area? Because to find the height, to find the height. Now, for them to be the same height, the the rate at which the water flows in uh, is important because it's flowing at one point five liters per minute. So in one minute, I want to find out how what was the height. Okay, so for example, the first one. So I'm going to take 1.5 liters, which is 1500 0, 0 divided by 750. So that will give me two. That means in one minute, um, tank A is going to the height is going to increase by two centimeters. Whereas for the second one is 1250. So one five zero zero divided by one two five zero so in one minute <coughs> so the area it's one point two centimeter so here comes the difficult part because I need them to be the same height to be the same height now uh, the other thing is we need to find out what is the height right here because it's one quarter filled okay it's one it says one quarter so this has got to be 10 centimeter so this thing is already at 10 centimeter now patron is actually quite famous for difficult questions and now i'm getting to experience that right Ooh, okay gotta think a bit huh? so this thing is increasing at 1.5 sorry two centimeters in one minute this one is increasing at uh, 1.2 cm per minute so this is already okay what you can do is you can use guess and check that means you try and see how far okay but what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to look at the difference so if I take 2 uh, minus 1.2 is 0 0.8 cm that means tank A is going to increase at 0 0.8 cm more every minute so how far does he have to catch up? He has to catch up 10 centimeters. Okay, he has to catch up 10 centimeters. So uh, how long does it take to catch up the 10 centimeters? We take 10 divided by 0 0.8. So 10 divided by 0 0.8. That will be 12.5 minutes. That's the answer. <coughs> okay, we're going to check later. Right, this concept that I'm using comes from the speed question because it's a catching up question. Uh, I mean, it's catching up, so you find the difference. Okay, difference. We call it the DST minus. Next, 
So the figure below is not drawn to scale A, B, F, E, A, C, G are straight lines Okay, so B, C, D is a square oh, Where is B, C, D? So B, C, D, E Okay, I see the square right there C, F, D, G is a rhombus C, F, D, G Okay, see the rhombus there B, A, C, 63 So find A, C, B A, C, B First one Alright, so I know this is 90 degrees Because it's a square So here's 90 degrees as well uh, so to find first one, uh, angle ACB is equal to 90, take away 63, so 27 degrees. Right, that's the answer for the first one. So that's part A. How about part B? So find CGD. CGD. Right here. So this 27, uh, this is 90. That's Let's zoom in here. 27, 90. Um, right angle, 90. So I can find this angle. This is the 90 minus 27. 63 degrees as well. Alright, so that's 63. Angles on a straight line. So what else can I find? I got a rhombus. Rhombus. Uh, I got a square, square rhombus. So so basically this angle is the same as this angle uh, What other clues do I have? 90, <coughs> 63, 90, 27 And yeah Okay, isosceles triangle Isosceles triangle Same side CGD CGD 63 This is also 63 Okay, I saw this triangle If that's 60, so here is also 63 degrees And that will help me find this So I want to find angle CFD CFD, right? CFD, um, 180 minus 63 minus 63 54 And that is our answer. So angle CFD equals angle CGD equals 54 degrees. Boom. Next. Alright, the figure shows the table mat. The outside edge of the mat is formed by 12 semicircles. Right, that's 12 semicircles. And the corner is a quarter circle. So each of radius 10 cm so where's the radius so each one here is 10 cm okay so one of it is 10 so find the parameter of the map now obviously we just have to count the number of circles that the this thing makes huh? so let's find the number of semi circle there's a 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 and 1, 2, 3. So that's like 12 semicircles plus this one and this one. 12, 13, 14. So that's 14 semicircle. Now 14 semicircle is equal to 7 circles. So all I have to do is to find the, radi uh, the um, circumference of 7 circles. So pi is 3.14. <coughs> 2 times pi times r times 7 2 times 3.14 times 10 times 7 Okay, so we work that out <coughs> 4 39.6 centimeters Okay, so we get 439.6 centimeters uh, that should be the parameter of the mat. So part B, the area of the mat. Alright, so how to find the area of the mat? Now each one of these is 20. <sighs> it's not difficult, it's just a little troublesome. Alright, so 
Okay. Uh, okay, so what we need to do to find the area of the map, we gotta split it up into several parts. So I will draw this little box. Alright, so I draw this little box here and um, 14 semicircle. 14, 7 circle. The area is 7 circles, yep. 7 yeah 7 circles so I can find the area of 7 circles um, plus 4 of the rectangle 4 rectangles now uh, what do I mean by rectangle this is 1 rectangle and then we also need the square okay so what's the area of the square it's 20 20 20 60 times 60 so let's find the area of the square so 60 times 60 equals to 3600 Okay, so that's the area of the square. Now how about one rectangle? So it's 20 times 10. No, 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 no. It's 60 times 10. So one rectangle is 600. Okay, so I got four of, four of them. And seven circles. So seven circles, got to go back to our formula. So seven times pi times... 10 square pi r square is the formula so uh, 3.14 7 times 100 times 3.14 it's 2198 so that's the area of 7 circles now to find the whole figure we take the 2198 plus 3600 plus 4 times of 600 So we get 8, 1, 9, 8 cm square. Okay, so that's the area. Next. Not too bad. Right? Speed is going pretty fast. Next. Raja and Greg took part in a walkathon which started at 7 20 am. So Raja's average speed was 30 meters per minute faster than Greg. When Raja completed the walkathon in 40 minutes, Greg had only walked 5 6 of the distance. So, what time was it when Greg completed the walkathon? Started at 7.20, Raja completed Okay, so speed was 30 meters per minute faster when Raja completed. Uh, looks like DSD ratio. Let's try it. Okay, so DST ratio. In case you don't know what is DST ratio, you can take a look at our video on heuristics uh, where I explain all the different types of speed related heuristics. Okay, so DST ratio is one of them. So we got this uh, Raja and Greg. So Greg only completed 5 out of 6 of the distance and Raja already completed 6 so the distance is 5 is to 6 is to 5 so if the distance is 6 is to 5 that means the speed is also 6 is to 5 okay DST ratio the distance is related to the speed which is also related to the time but the time is inverse so the time is 5 is to 6 okay so this is our DST ratio uh, what does it mean now you see if uh, this Raja is 30 meters per minute faster and the difference here if it takes 6 minus 5 is 1u so 1u represents 30 faster so uh, this meters per minute eh? so I can find Raja's uh, and Greg's speed basically so 3 times 6 180 meters per minute and 5 150 meters per minute so this is the power of the DST ratio. You can deduce a lot of stuff uh, just by having one set of information given to you. So, but that doesn't solve the question, okay? Because we have... Oh, so you see, Raja completed the walkathon in 40 minutes. So Raja took 40 minutes. So you see, this five, we call this five parts. So 5 part represents 40 minutes 
Alright, so one part will be 8 minutes and six part is 48 minutes. So the question is uh, what time was it when Greg completed the walkathon? We just have to add additional 40 minutes. Now both of them started at 7.20 so uh, basically just take 7.20 you add 48 minutes that would be 8 Oh, 08 right so the time is 808 so find Raja's average speed oh didn't we do that already so Raja's average speed is just 6 ah. so in middle yeah so we're done so A is here and B is here pretty fast next it's power of DST ratio next one Okay, Li Ping and Janice had some red and yellow ribbons. Four out of nine of Li Ping were red. One third of Janice were red. Li Ping gave three quarter of a red to Janice. In the end, Li Ping had one, two, six, and six. Okay, okay. so uh, yeah, let's draw a diagram. Li Ping. So they both are red and yellow. Four out of nine of Li Ping. So we got leaping for you, five you. Uh, this is red, and this is yellow. The yellow person is Janice. One third of Janice. So this is one part, two part, red, yellow. So leaping gave three quarters of a red to Janice. So minus 3u left 1u. Here must plus 3u. Okay, transfer over. Uh, in the end, Li Ping had 1, 2, 6 ribbons left. So what is left? 6 units. So 6u represents 126. 1u will be uh, 21. So this is actually 21 and the yellow 5 times 21 equals to 105 and 6 over 11 of Genesis ribbons were red 6 out of 11 6 out of 11 of Genesis ribbon how many red ribbons did they give? so we can answer the first part uh, because the information is right here Three units were given, and we know that one unit is 21. So 21 times 3 equals to 63. Alright, so this is the answer for part A. How many ribbons did Janice have in the end? Li Ping had 1, 2, 6 left, and 6 out of 11. So I know that this 3 units is 63. And this whole thing is 6 out of 11. 6 out of 11 6 out of 11 6 over 11 oh okay 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 okay. now if 6 over 11 Genesis ribbons were red 5 I'm just looking at this 5 out of 11 are yellow so the number of yellow for uh, Janice doesn't change so this has to I'm going to use another color use red this is 5 out of 11 okay so that two parts has to become 5 out of 11 now how do you make that two parts become 5 out of 11 you can find a common multiple which in this case uh, I'm going to use 10 so I'm going to rewrite everything let's say here is 10 out of 11 this uh, no, it's not 10 or 11, it's uh, 22. Uh, 22 out of 22. Okay, this is 5 out of 11 is times 2. Um, here, I got times 5. So, this will be 10 parts yellow. Okay, so if that's 10 parts yellow, um, here I times 5, there's also times 5, so there's 5 parts. Alright, so 5 parts are the original rate. 
but I'm supposed to have uh, this plus 63 but I'm supposed to, is it this 10 out of 22 that's 10 out of 22 on the yellow that means the red has to be 12 out of 22 but I have 5 parts here ok so I got 5 parts here that means if I take 12 minus 5 is 7 so 7 part represents 63 so uh, 1 part will be 9 now if 1 part is 9 how many ribbons did Janice have in the end? so she had a total of 22 parts 22 parts 9 times 22 198 that would be the number of ribbons she has she have in the end is that all? oh that was the last question okay so wait 1 2 3 4 yeah Right, so that was the last five questions of um, this uh, page two. We only took 20 minutes. Okay, so that was an average of four minutes per question, except for question number one, where I got stuck for a while. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to check the answer. Okay, and see um, if I got them correct. Right, just a minute. It's from page two. Give us a minute. So while we are waiting for the answers, uh, which is somewhere in my computer, uh, I'd like to talk a bit about the prelim. So how was the prelim? Yeah, is it good? Let us know. Now, if you have any prelim questions um, that you would like me to go through, I welcome all questions because I enjoy making videos about uh, questions. Right, and of course uh, the solution so it would be fun to take a look okay so we're now looking at Pei Jun 536 Okay, so the first one is one, the height is 1.2. Okay, we're now marking the, the, the question, right? It's 12.5 minutes, that's correct. Wish me luck. Next, it's 54. Yep. So far, so good. Next one. Oops, sorry. 5, 4. The next is uh, four three nine point six. What? Yeah, that's correct. And the area it's eight one eight nine. Not too bad. Okay, rush eight. Eight zero eight, yep. And uh B, right? Eighty meters, yeah. Right, so you see the DST ratio really works pretty well. Okay, it's really useful. I find DST ratio so useful. You don't have to do so much working. Uh, next one, ribbon 63 and 198 full marks. And that's it. Okay, so uh, this is the Patreon paper I managed to do. Uh, five questions under about in about 20 minutes okay that's pretty awesome so um, how am I able to do all this is because I have the knowledge of all the heuristics uh, of course I've done a lot of questions so I know roughly what they're asking 
about all right so if you want like to know uh, how i'm able to do these questions and how i'm able to help the students do this question just go join our group download the heuristics um, pdf cheat sheet okay you can click on the links on the pdf and uh, you can read or watch the video uh, as to how i'm able to solve all the heuristics i actually explain about all the different heuristics uh, over there okay so that's all for this week uh, hope you enjoyed the video bye